When you give Facebook a marketing budget, that determines how many people will see your ad. But if you allow Facebook to target just anyone, you're not going to see the conversions you want to. That's why Facebook has created the Custom Audience tool, which allows you to choose your own demographic. This will help you make the most of your budget, which will ideally earn you a higher ROI. Today, we're going in depth about how custom audiences work and how you can tailor yours to your advantage. To start, let's explore a few different ways that Facebook can find individuals to target for your page. One of the first things you can do when building an audience is to allow Facebook to find profiles by using the contacts that you received through other avenues. You can upload your email and phone list into Facebook's tool, which will search its database to see if any of the information matches up to profiles. Once it finds these profiles, they'll target their feeds with your ads. Facebook Pixel, which we've explored in depth in a previous video here, can monitor users who browse your website. Facebook can pair your ads with individuals who visited certain pages or spent a specific amount of time on your website. Facebook curates an engagement audience by targeting individuals who've engaged with your content in some way through Facebook or Instagram. This can be by liking or commenting on your posts or by watching your videos. It can also show your ad to users who've visited your business page or clicked on a link. With this feature, Facebook will take the information of your existing customers and then try to match them up with other users that may have similar interests or be in the same demographic. This is often one of the most successful methods of targeting with Facebook's algorithm, so we highly recommend it. One area that Facebook really shines in digital marketing is in the ways that it allows you to define your ideal customer in detail. This is what will help ensure that the right people are seeing your product. Here's some of the audience information that Facebook allows you to input. Age, gender, location, household income, interests, and marital status. So if you're watching this and you've come to the realization that you don't really know who your audience is, then you've just identified a major issue in your marketing strategy. It's absolutely essential to know who you're selling to for your business to succeed. You need to start there before moving forward with your marketing campaign. So if that's you, here's a few different ways that you can learn more about who you're selling to. Knowing your product inside and out will help you know who you're selling to. For example, if you sell an eco-friendly product, you may attract individuals under the age of 30 who want to be mindful about how they use their resources. Or if you're selling professional shelf installation, you might attract married couples with a high household income. One of the most accurate ways to know who you're selling to is to go straight to the source. Send out an email or link to a page on your website that asks your customers more about themselves and what it is they're looking for regarding content and services. You can encourage users to take this survey by offering a discount when they complete it. It's only natural that Facebook has a tool to help you identify who interacts with your page or ads. You can do this via Location on the Insights tab, and then clicking on the People tab. This page will display the information you need regarding the type of audience you're attracting, which will allow you to better optimize your content. Once you know who your audience is, you'll want to continue to monitor your analytics to make sure that you're succeeding in attaining and retaining their interests. Another option offered by Facebook is the ability to filter your audience according to interests. You can type in options like arts and entertainment, technology, education, the list goes on. Facebook may also make suggestions on the interests you've already selected. The thing to know about interest-based marketing is that it really broadens your audience. This isn't necessarily a negative thing though, and many professional marketing companies actually recommend keeping your audience on the broader side. The waiting game is a hard one, especially when you're waiting to turn a profit, but ultimately it's best to allow time for Facebook's algorithm to do its work, as opposed to constantly adjusting your target. When you give your campaign time and keep it broad, you may end up getting business from a group of people you never expected. Why is it so important to know your audience? 
You want them to buy your product, of course, but you also want to make sure that you're reaching out to them in a way that they will respond to. After all, social media only gives you a couple seconds to capture someone's attention, so you need to make sure your content is tailored towards your specific audience so that they will stop and look at what you're offering. Here's an overview of how to attract your audience once you identify them. It's important that you're aware of the tone you're using when you address your audience. There's a chance that this may differ from how you'd speak regularly, so it's important to adjust accordingly. Some demographics might enjoy reading copy that's light and witty, while others will prefer text that's a touch more serious and informative. You'll have to consider the length of your sentences and your vocabulary. Most consumers respond best to short sentences that get to the point, but you may want to experiment a bit to see what gets the best response for you. We've said it in the past and we'll say it again. Visual content is one of the best ways to grab the attention of social media users. This is the content that tends to get the most interactions, but how you choose to create imagery may vary according to the user. If your audience is older in age, you may want to use images using larger text for those whose eyesight may have declined. Colorful images usually appeal to a younger audience. Short video tutorials are another good way to grab attention. It's ideal if you find a way to tie these into your product. Keep in mind the different devices your audience might be using. Mobile phones and tablets are incredibly popular now, and it's essential to make sure you optimize any content you create to look good on any screen, no matter the size. The number of people who use the Facebook app is incredibly substantial, so you should be checking everything you post both on a computer and mobile screens. There's a fair amount of success that you can achieve using Facebook's algorithm, but it can be tough to spend a large amount of time on marketing by yourself. In these cases, a business can benefit from seeking out the help of an experienced professional. If you've begun your Facebook campaign and are now looking for help with your paid social media advertising, feel free to contact us at Logical Position and we'd be happy to help. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video about Facebook. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.